Hello all. Now we will see how to conduct standard penetration test. It is one of the most reliable site investigation technique. So why to delay? Let's perform. Consider this as your site and here is the point where you wish to explore soil properties at a depth of 1 meter. Now make a borehole up to the desired depth. Place that tripod concentrically above your borehole. Take your gate rod and fix the sampler at bottom. Attach the hammer of 63.5 kg and anvil to the gate rod. Make a marking of 75 cm above anvil so as to have uniform height of fall. Fix the sentry gain above the borehole as shown and place the guide rod setup through it. Keep a pulley at the top of the tripod and suspend the rope over it. Attach the hammer to one end of your rope using hook. Make four markings along the guide rod starting from the ground surface at an interval of 15 cm each. Now drop the hammer through 75 cm height and start penetrating the soil. Did you start counting the blows? Now you should not. Here blows required for first 15 cm penetration is not considered as it is a seating drive. Blows required for second and third 15 cm that is from 15 to 30 cm and from 30 to 45 cm is recorded and that gives n value recorded. So, SPT N value is the number of blows required for 30 cm penetration after your seating drive. If number of blows are greater than 50 for a 15 cm penetration, then it is taken as ground refusal for your penetration. So, don't consider that value. Your recorded gain value has number of errors and hence it needs number of corrections too. But IS code recommends two corrections in particular. Of which first one is overburden correction. In granular soil at deeper depth confining pressure will increase the blow count. Hence we may overestimate the strata at deeper depth. IS2131-1981 recommends this graph for overburden correction. Apply overburden correction using this graph. Let the N value after applying correction be N0. The next correction to be applied is dilatancy correction. If silty fine sands or fine sands are present below water table and N value after applying overburden correction is greater than 15, then the corrected N value is given as NC is equal to 15 plus half of N0 minus 15. It is to be noted here that overburden correction has to be applied first and then the dilatancy correction is done. Fine. What could we do with this SPTN value? Let's learn their applications too. Using certain standard correlations from the corrected N value, you can actually predict relative density and angle of internal friction in case of cautionless soil. You can also predict UCS value in case of cohesive soil. And sometimes even you can predict dynamic properties too. Thank you.